under a closed roof here in Milwaukee. We're almost ready for baseball from American Family Field. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Minnesota Twins and the Milwaukee Brewers. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The game's count starting now. It's opening day. It's the show. And it's coming up next. Brandon Woodruff gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what do you got? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. ERA just above three last year, which is saying something. This guy commands the strike zone. He's not afraid to throw strike one, controls the running game. A real solid pitcher, and if he pitches like he did last year, expect more of the same in this campaign. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard up the middle. That's a hit. The first of the year for the Twins. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there. Made a nice two strike adjustment. Into the box now. Nelson Cruz. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer right, throw right, to second going. base. That's a strike to throw down. He's in time. Narvaez throws him out. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. Here's the pitch on two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball That's as hard good. as they can, and the where it ends up isn't That's that big of a concern, but that 30. wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Standing in now, Kirby Puckett. Yeah. One and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Here comes the one two. Is laid off for ball two. Just getting underway here in Milwaukee. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 2 2 offering. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Now it's the Brew Crew's turn in a scoreless ball game. In is Christian Yelich. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The three-one. Hey. We got three and two. 
skied in the air to straightaway left. Hunter on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second. Time now for a no look at the hometown field. Brewers starting Whoa, lineup. Nero, what do you got in this lineup Game. in the series opener? Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy that at the good. letters. That's the, the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me Great. personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Plate now, Prince Fielder. Fastball in there, three and two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And I'm that sure the cool. manager is just fine with no that. I mean, fielder. it's better to battle Ball a slugger game. like that to the end and Whoa. end up walking him than serving on up or he can really hurt you. Digging in now for the Brewers, Ryan Braun. One one and it's fouled away. The one two misses That's down cool. below the knee. I got to count two and two. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. That's a hit. The first of the new campaign for the Brewers. Fielder is on his way home. And a relay home. And not in time as the run scores. Well, with two away, the man on first, he was moving on contact. He got a great jump and comes all the way around to score on that double. Always nice to snag the early lead, and they've done it here. Into the box, Robin Young. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to Killaby gets him, and that ends the inning. Brewers get a run on the RBI double. Second inning coming up, and Milwaukee's off to an early 1-0 lead. the inning it'll be Harmon Killebrew and they could use a spark from him here. Here now the 2 2. Full count. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Fouled off. Oh. 
swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there that of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. At the plate now, Torrey Hunter. And this is low, ball two, two and one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Luis Arias is on deck. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed strike three. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. In now Luis Arias. This one misses and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Grounded to first. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Milwaukee leads it one to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Narvaez. One one. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd and foul ball. Lifted down the line in left. Hunter coming on. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Batting seven. The right field. Okay, here's how the I'm twins are lining here. up defensively. God and let's take a look at Andrelton Simmons. You can argue this is the best defender in all the sport. Range, first step, quickness, whatever you want to throw out there, this is one of the best in the game. So now to the plate, Avisail Garcia. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the left handed hitter, Travis Shaw. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. One and two, here it comes. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Vaskersen, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plezak back with you as Byron Buxton readies to lead off the inning. Got him. Hey. The next twin up, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. One out, nobody on. 
one and two to the Twins catcher. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Garcia to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting nine, the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Bases are empty here with two away. And standing in, one of the best two strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. Well, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. A stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two out, nobody on. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Got him swinging and that's the third out. Twins are set down one two three. They're down one nothing. for the last half of the inning and set to go is the second baseman Colton Wong into the windup here's the two and one pitch <laughs> this is on the ground over the first kill the blues got it throws in time and that's out number one. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So bases are empty with one gone. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3 and 1. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Man that swing looked like self defense than a real quality swing. But hey he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. At the plate, Lorenzo Kane. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And everyone knows that you set the tone on opening day, and that's not the kind of tone they want to set. They made fielding a priority in the spring, but it doesn't translate on that play. Might be some early season jitters, too. Into the box now, Prince Fielder. Two balls, Two balls and a strike. Ready with two balls and a strike. Oh. 
Runners are at first and third, one away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full, three and two. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Now the three and two pitch. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And not in time as the run scores. The left fielder. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan, Ryan. Braun. RBI oh. double is what he was credited with his first time around. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And this one's in the dirt. A look now the pitch he three. takes strike three called on the fastball couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away it's never a good look to strike out looking but it's now, way man. worse when you do it with That's a guy in stop. scoring position oh, those are the times you really want to see Go. a guy battle and at least put the ball in play into the box Robin Young no contact there, and it's one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call from the same nope. location over and over and over. Two and two the count. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Grounded back up the middle. Tossed behind the back. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. Back with more on opening day after this. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Rod Carew. He singled first time up. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Stepping in next, Nelson Cruz struck out in his first at-bat. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. The 1-2. Misses, ball two. Ball two. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch-outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in inning up to this point. 
It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Stepping in now, Kirby Puckett. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that That's one's right. taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. Runner at first with two gone. And here is the killer, Harmon Killebrew. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame. And that one ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down two to nothing. Back here in Milwaukee as we check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So here is Narvaez. He flew out in his last A.B. The fastball well off the plate for a ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Hunter's got a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for Milwaukee, the right fielder, Avisaye. Garcia. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Puckett arranged to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batting third baseman, Travis Shaw. The digging in next will be Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Taken right. strike two. Two runs on two hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And he'll lay off two the curveball that's two in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Okay. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And the 3-2 is lined in the left field. A base hit. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. As we take another look now here, you can see it's a two-seam fastball running pass. away from him at the plate. So he does this smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it. Just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. Blake now, Colton Wong, and it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Drilled right back up the middle. Simmons to his left. He's there. And a fine play there up the middle may have saved a run as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. More opening day baseball coming up following this.
Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. All right, Heidi, thank you. Into the box, Tory Hunter comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fouled off. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Up next, Luis Arias. He bounced out last time up. No runs, just one hit and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. And there goes Hunter. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Throw over to the bag and dive, but he's back. The plate now. Byron Buxton. Pitch Whoa, inside the throw. Right there, and Hunter is out trying to take second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a back. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there of finding the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. The 2 1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up. Brewers are out in front, two to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in the long ball threat, Christian Yelich. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the, the home hitter. half of the fifth Number underway. Six. Lorenzo. Game. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2-1. ball three. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. The 3-1. And he ball lays four. off there, ball four. Perfect. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. 
And now time is called here as their pitching now coach is going to pay a quick visit baseman. to the mound to discuss Mark. how they want to attack things here. Fielder. Stepping in once again is Prince Fielder. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. He's set and the one two pitch. Drill down the line. First and second here with nobody out. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Got him with a good high fastball there. No and we see a lot of that pitch eight. in strikeout situations oh, yeah. these days. What makes it so effective? Whoa. I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. So now to the plate, Ryan Braun. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here now the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. At the plate, Robin Young. And he oh, misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. <laughs> Fastball is looked at for strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. All set for the start of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Mitch Garver. Ready on one and two. Oh, that hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Wind up. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. We got three balls. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Great AB up to this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. In now, Andrelton Simmons had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here he comes again, one, two. Soft grounder left side. Shaw gloves it. Throw gets it to them. Yeah, that's second base. Dog. 
Up next for Minnesota, Rod Carew rounded out in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. Nope. Count is 2 and 1. Well below the one. knees three laid off on the changeup there. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And he fouls this one off. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled off. Another payoff pitch. Popped him up. Shaw in foul ground. And that ends the inning. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Six seventh and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Brewers two and the Twins nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now and next to hit is the catcher Omar Narvaez. The one one. Changeup gets him out in two front ball, for strike two. two. Strike. Outside in a full count. count, three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Puckett is camped under this one. And he's got it for the first down. The batter, the right fielder, Abbas Saeed Garcia. Next for Milwaukee, Abbas Saeed Garcia. No hits to this point. Here's the one and one delivery. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty now much has been sure outs the other than that one man. hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Into the box, Travis Shaw. Rounded down the third baseline. Two out, nobody on. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Fortunately, he's oh. able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through six full. It's the Brewers two and the Twins nothing. So now into the box is Nelson Cruz. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Fouled away. Lifted in the air out towards left center. King is right there, one down. The center field number 34, 
Kirby Puckett. Here comes the Milwaukee skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Your Devin Williams please. is out from the now bullpen now as he'll the get the call here on opening day. Number 38. Yep, One gone now in the Minnesota seventh, and in next is Kirby Puckett. The three and one pitch. Slap hard the opposite way, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Three one fastball middle cut, and he didn't miss it. That's the fight throughout the course of the game to get yourself to count leverage and capitalize. Number four Minnesota hitter, Carmen Killebrook, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Runner at first here, one man out. Runners off for second. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push the run across. Ground ball right side. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Now battle. The left fielder. Tory Hunter. In is Tory Hunter. It was a walk in his last trip. Men on third with two down. And it's one and two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Here comes the one-two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's going to land foul. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Here's the one and two. Well, that helped. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Working on hanging another zero, the pitch. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. He lays off, and that's outside, ball four. They're at the corners now here with two away. So that's the second walk now he's worked in this one. Yeah, that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. That'll bring up Luis Arrives. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Runners at the corners, two men out. Hey. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Garcia. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Twin strand a pair. They trail things here two to nothing.
Ladies Matt Shoemaker is out from the please. bullpen now as he'll get the now call here on opening play. day. Number 32, Matt Shoemaker. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Colton Wong. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Puckett is underneath this one. One down. Up next to the walk. The designated hitter. Chris Yell. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Christian Yelich. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home. Is a curveball taken low for a ball. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. One out, nobody on. Swung on and belted. Get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. It's grand salami time. It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Brewers have now taken a three to nothing lead. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. Into the box now, Lorenzo Cain nope. lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Two one. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. Three and one. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest Ball. pitches Ball. to hit in the game. And no offer there from Kane, and he's aboard. It's ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball now, earlier in this First inning, so basement. you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. That brings up Prince Fielder. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. That ball and that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Drilled on the ground is short, and that's through for this first base hit in this one. Now a long throw to third. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. Hey, I love to be aggressive on the base pass, certainly when you're watching the play. Oh, yeah. That runner saw that baseball right in front of him. The whole play transpired right in front of him, and he felt he could get the third base, then he better get there. Can't be thrown out in that situation. At the plate now, Ryan Braun. Hard hit toward the hole. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Little ground ball with eyes right there. He might have been a little bit out in front, but I don't care. That's a bullet knock in the box score tomorrow morning. Tyler Duffy drops in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Tyler Duffy. So now to the plate, Robin Young. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. He's set. Here's the two-two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning.
but the Brewers get a run, and it comes here on the long ball. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 3-0 Milwaukee. Brad Boxberger is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Here's Byron Buxton now. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Full count, three Thank balls you. and two strikes to the Twins DH. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's been a low scoring affair. Three to nothing our score as we show you the numbers for our two starters to this point in the contest. Striding in is Mitch Garver. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. One one he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch, Whoa. and a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Pitch on the way. Helpful. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3 2 count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Full count still. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He loses him on ball four. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. So now to the play will be Andrelton Simmons. Two balls and a strike to count to Andrelton Simmons. Now the 2 1 will not catch the zone. Ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, he walked them on five now, pitches, but that last Second pitch three. was really uh, good. He missed three. down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Next to hit, Rod Carew. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
That's ball two. Two two count. Yeah. Two and two is a changeup that misses three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Josh Hader is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 71, Josh Hager. Nelson Cruz will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. To two and two now. Two and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Twin strand of pair. Still down three nothing. Play Omar Narvaez. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 1 home is in off the plate. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. Sharply on the ground. Carew is there. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting. The right fielder. Abisai Garcia. Next it'll be Abisail Garcia. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Now two and two. One app, nobody on. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game the he was hoping to have when he was taking Brother. batting practice, but at least his guys oh. are ahead. Standing in now, Travis Shaw. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Now another one, two. Lifted in the air toward the line in right. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Dan Plezak comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the night. The Number 37. Yeah. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Kirby Puckett. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. 
one and two. One ball. Hey, you want two someone strikes. sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Here comes the one two. Softly hit to short. He's got it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Carmen Killebrew. He grounded out last time up. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. Another one sent foul. Fouled away. Here's another one, two. And he fouls this one off. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Here now the 2-2. It's laid off and the count runs full. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. The 3-2 pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. You know, D-Row, there's now been some great pitching in this one so Four. far. After that knock, okay. that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing their bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Stepping in now, Corey oh. Hunter. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 2-1 takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed. And he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. to the plate now. Luis Arias. Nope. And a that fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And in game one of this series it sure doesn't hurt that you make the closer come in and he threw a ton of pitches. It's possible he might not be available going forward. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. On the first and that's your ball game. Wow, nice job there. Notching career save number 159. Hey, I had 158 saves in my career, so I'll be in his rear view mirror forever. He's a good one. We'll see how many more he can rack up. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Brewers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. 
Brandon Woodruff gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Walter Johnson pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Dan Plezak records the save his first of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more make your way over to the new website theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Brewers. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Twins, no runs, three hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Our paid attendance at American Family Field this afternoon 41,900. The Brewers thank you for attending today's game and remind you to please drive home safely.